evening Griffins and Griffin families. I really hope you've had the most wonderful weekend. Um, it's me Miss White joining you for story time this evening and tonight I'm going to read a story called I Am Not Very Brave. There was once a little dragon called Boggle. Boggle wanted to be like his hero, Super Dragon. But Boggle was not very brave. He was afraid of everything. Heights, noises, vegetables, and most of all, new things. There was an especially big new thing headed his way. Dragon School. It was far away on the other side of a very high bridge. Super Dragon would walk across this bridge, said Daddy. But Super Dragon is very super brave, said, said Boggle. I am not very brave. But Boggle knew he had to try. So he shut his eyes tight, thought about Super Dragon and walked across the bridge, holding on to Daddy's hand. When they reached school, Boggle could hear dragons playing. They sounded really big and loud. Super Dragon would make lots of nice friends here, said Daddy. But Super Dragon is super brave, said Boggle. I am not very brave. But Boggle knew he had to try, so he shut his eyes and thought about Super Dragon. Super Dragon would have gone to school with big, super big and super scary dragons. Oh no, thought Boggle. But he couldn't stop now. He took a deep breath, put on his hero's mask that he'd brought just in case, and jumped into the class shouting, I am not very brave. But then he looked around, all the other dragons were little and none of them looked brave either because the first lesson was flying. Boggle was afraid of heights but he knew he had to try. He thought about Super Dragon, flapped his wings and rose higher and higher off the ground. Boggle thought flying would be scary and strange but it was wonderful. At home time, Boggle told his daddy all the things he'd done that day. But you always say you're not very brave, smiled Daddy. I'm not very brave, Daddy. I am super brave. So, we all have things that we're really scared of at times or that can seem a bit scary to start with. But if we don't try something new, you won't, you never know, it might be really, really fun. I wonder what you're looking forward to this week. Now this week's my birthday. And I'm really looking forward to that and I'm spending some time with my family. Maybe you could tell your families or your teachers in the morning what you're looking forward to this week. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.